Hi folks, this is all the fruit and today I want to show you the domestic pine Pinus pinea or Pinus pinea one of the iconic trees of the Mediterranean no Mediterranean hotel or beach landscape without those pine trees with the umbrella shaped crown Actually, when they are young, the crown is pretty much round, and later it becomes umbrella-shaped. But both shapes are not that typical for pine trees, so the domestic pine always stands out. I'm mean, in the outskirts of Cannes, on the Côte d'Azur in southern France. This morning, my phone crashed, so I lost tons of unique fruit videos. I'm not even sure if I can find all the fruit I filmed during the last couple of days. I couldn't upload them because the Wi-Fi here sucks. So yeah, now I'm quite upset because, yeah, as I said, I lost a lot of really interesting fruit videos from southern France, but I'm trying to redo as many of them as possible. So the domestic pine well, of course, it's iconic and ornamental, but I guess we are more interested about the edibility. The good thing is, basically, all pine species, all pinus species have edible fruit and a lot of other edible parts, for example, the inner bark and stuff like that. Well, they are all edible. The seeds are not toxic in any pine species as far as I know. Also from most species you can make some nice tea from the bark or from the leaves, yeah. You can get a lot of sugars from the bark, but the only commercially available food made from pine species is made from the seeds. A lot of areas around the world have their own big seeded pine species and in the Mediterranean this is Pinus pinea. So basically, the cones are quite large. They can get up to three times the size of this one. They are being harvested while still firmly closed. And then just from the heat and the dry air, they open like this. Actually, when you have one in your kitchen or in any room in winter or outdoors in the Mediterranean summer, you can hear them crack open. It's a beautiful sound. Then, you shake out the big seeds. Well, the big seeds are covered in a dirty black coating of yeah, black dust, which you can rub away. When you more or less rub it away, they look like this. And then, you can start breaking them. By the way, if you have friends from Iran or Afghanistan, don't just give them some of those little pine nuts. What they're going to do is they're going to try crack them with their teeth. Because the default edible pine species in their area has seeds which look pretty similar, but they are not as hard. So they're easy to cr crack with their teeth. If you try this with Pinus pineum, well, they are as hard or even harder than hazelnut, so you're gonna hurt your teeth. Well, once you crack them with a stone or with a hammer, you end up with this thin brown skin, which is finally covering the edible seed. So it's quite a lot of work to get those seeds, that's why they're pretty expensive. First you have to climb the trees, and this is not a big one, they can get three to four times higher than this one, sometimes they are like 30, 35 meters high, maybe higher. Then, usually you cannot wait till the cones fall to the ground because you lose most of the seeds. So you have to climb the tree. You cannot just pick the cones. You have to yeah, you rip them off with force or even cut them from the tree with a knife. As you can see, the peduncle is quite thick and strong. It's basically like a pine branch, really flexible and tough. Yeah, then you have to 
let them open by themselves by drying and heating them then you have to clean the nuts come on focus then you have to clean the nuts from this black dust then you have to break the hard nuts then you have to remove this thin brown skin and at the end you end up with well some quite small nuts what do they taste like if you haven't tried them yet try them they are really good they have a tanginess they basically taste the way pines smell or if you chew some pine needles or pine, or pine twigs the pine seeds they taste basically the same but without the bitterness and the stringency mm, yeah really nice really important ingredient of mediterranean and middle eastern and central asian cuisine <clears throat> if you have the chance well if you have the chance to forage them somewhere in a mediterranean city or tourist area those are the big cones which lie under the pine trees with the umbrella shaped with the umbrella shape yeah with the umbrella shape now you know how to recognize them don't confuse them with anything else i don't know any toxic uh seeds which resemble them but still be careful if you cannot forage for them just buy them in any mediterranean or yeah middle eastern turkish or whatever grocery shop and try them they are just delicious okay folks so this was the domestic pine <clears throat> from the outskirts of Cannes at the Côte d'Azur in southern France stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos and also nut videos from beautiful southern France <clears throat> pray that my phone doesn't crash again and if you want to support the channel don't forget to like the video share the link subscribe to the channel and leave a nice comment